Hmm. I think I'm gonna need some more flowers. And some better earmuffs. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. Uh, unfortunately, I can't hide things from you guys from you guys in this game. Uh, as you can see by the upper right, I have been busy. I've done a lot of other things off camera. I did uh, uh, One of the things I did is, uh, well, I actually gathered up a whole bunch of algae and used up all the algae to make fertilizer. I made a couple of rocket engines. What we're going to do is we're going to be launching up a couple of asteroid uh, rockets to get some iridium today. Because uh, I want to start getting, getting some more progress going. Uh, one of the things I did notice is we are actually at tree level and we're on our way to insects, but that is taking a long time. I think currently about 15, 20 minutes it's gone from 0.07 to 0.1. So things do have to be ramped up quite a bit. The biomass, we're getting close to our very first tree spreader in the uh, bio lab. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, everything else is going up pretty good. There's not much, actually, I don't think there's actually anything else we can unlock right now. Uh, everything is done except for the tree spreader tier 3 and the fusion energy cell, which I'm pretty sure is unlocking stuff in those ships. I'm pretty sure everybody thinks the same thing, and some of you will probably already know. Anyway, uh, and the tree spreader tier 2, and as far as that goes, everything else is unlocked. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can decode for the, the chips right now because, you know, it's still early access, but I, I hear there is an update coming, so we got that to think about. Um, what else was I doing? Oh, yeah, I was. Uh, went ahead and chest which locker did I put it in? I think it was this one here. Uh, no, um, somewhere. In one of these, ah, I know where it is. I put it where the water is. Fertilizer, so we can get some um, flower spreaders going soon. Uh, what I have done too is I also looked at the DNA manipulator here, and I was looking at these seeds. And apparently there's actually going to be, like this one here, plant volness. So I have seen sc Steam screenshots of people picking up p different plants. So that's something that I'm sure is out there somewhere. I just have to find it. Uh, as far as the rest of them go, I think I have all these seeds. And this is for, obviously, the, the tree the tree spreader when that time comes. Another thing I've done, too, is I've moved the miners. Uh, I had the miner in here for the cobalt, uh, osmium. I see blue and I think cobalt, I don't know why. It's better than diamonds, right? I've played enough Minecraft, yeah, shiny blue rocks or diamonds. Uh, but yeah, I took that miner, I moved that, left this one here for the sulfur. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, that one, uh, I moved up to the super alloy mine, I'll show you that in a minute here. But I set another one here for the iridium, but it's kind of slow, so I have thought about yeah, it's kind of slow. I have thought about uh, launching another a couple more rockets to get uh, more iridium. That's why I have the two rocket engines. But I set up another one over at the Super Alloy Mine, and it's actually doing pretty good. Uh, I'll just quickly show you that one here. Uh, do a cut, and I'll bring you back. And then here in the Super Alloy Mine, you know, the big stone door, I set up another one here. And this one is producing super alloy and some other stuff, so that is good. It's uh, put the iron back. I got so much iron, I don't know what to do with it. And uh, take the silicon too, I think. But anyway, so I'll meet you back at the base. Oh yeah. Also, I noticed uh, I started getting grass out here, which is kind of interesting because we're not getting, I'm not getting like the the mossy buildup. But yeah. Anyway, here we are. So as you can see, I got a uh, full chest of iron, uh, oh, almost a full chest, or I'll say a uh, locker, container, whatever. Silicone, uh, magnesium, got some of that. Got cobalt for now. All this stuff won't last very long, I'm sure. Uh, titanium, lots of aluminum. Uh, one iridium, some uranium, and a lot of super alloy. I uh, have gone to that mine, yeah, a whole bunch of osmium too, that one in the cave there was doing pretty good. Uh, also too, I did have another one of the, the green asteroid, or green meteor showers, and managed to get some super alloy, that stuff does actually despawn pretty quick, thank you for telling me about that. And also I had a blue one too, and I've never seen one of those, and it was actually osmium and uh, sulfur. So, that was good. Uh, let's see where we're at, the, the 
biomass here. Okay, we're at that now. I was going to do Iridium, but... Yeah, we'll do Iridium, because I'm sure once we get the trees going, it's going to be producing a lot more biomass from them. Uh, I actually kind of wonder if we can I can actually see trees out there already, or if I actually have to launch one of the tree spreading rockets first. Uh, let's see. I was going to do this, so yeah, we'll just need silicone and super alloy. <laughs> well, I was about to launch a couple of rockets, but uh, sounds like something's coming in already. Or is this just like a normal storm? Find out in a second. Purple sky. Oh, there's going to be super alloy, isn't it? Let's go have a better look here on top of the biodome, see what's going on here. I think it's just a storm. It's a false alarm, possibly. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some storm of our own. I swear to God, something's gonna be coming. <laughs> the green clouds over the heaters. That's funny, I know it's just a, a lighting effect, but anyway. Off we go. Uh, I'm doing the right one, right? I hope so. Okay, iridium, good. Not gonna worry about the uranium because we're using uh, the fusion now. The, the pulsars. So I want to see if we can launch two of them at once. Let's have some fun here. Yeah. Well, it's still in view. Oh, despawned. All right. Well, I'll bring you back when the mayhem's done. Hmm. Bring you back just for a second. That was kind of weird. <laughs> I watched the two rockets. And it goes all quiet and calm and blue sky and all that stuff. And I'm thinking, well, what? Did I just waste those two rockets? And I guess I had to wait for that actual weather cycle at the end for this one to actually start up. But anyways, there's gonna be lots of meteors pump pummeling my base for the next ten minutes, so I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm just about done. I thought I'd bring you back because we're just about to unlock that, t that uh, tree spreader. Uh, I have done pretty good. I found about a uh, inventory and a half already, and I'm still finding more stuff as the rock actually despawns. Uh, I've noticed there's a couple. Of, sometimes there's been a, the odd one that ends up in shallow water. Just saying, we were just about to unlock that. Uh, that uh, shows up in shallow water, but I can't actually mine it because it wants me to drink it, or it wants me to drink the water instead. So maybe if I take the water filter off, I might be able to actually do that. Uh, also, too, while I was uh, picking up all the uranium that ended up in the, in the lake, I decided to uh, hop into the little skate pod there to see if... Wow, well, I'm getting more than I thought I would. Uh, see if I could replenish my oxygen, and that doesn't work. Which does kind of make sense. Okay, that's about it there. Let's see if we got anything under here. I don't think we do. I don't know if there's anything left. I went over here and picked up all of it. Um, yeah, it definitely seems like the rockets or the the meteors uh, impact wherever you are when you launch it. Possibly. That's what I like about the ura uh, iridium and uranium. It's actually easy to see them because they glow. Uh, super alloy. It's so hard to see them. I couldn't tell if I was looking at silicone or super alloy and I was trying to hurry hurry because I knew it was going to despawn and they were coming from all sorts of different directions and usual stuff but I think that's about all I can find I don't know if these ones will actually despawn I'm sure they will just not as fast as everything else and there's a couple over here another one that's exposed there's one right in the shallows here I can't actually get it just tells me I want to drink. But with that, I got quite a bit. So I can make, make up some of the heaters I had to dismantle to get the mines going. But uh, let me go check on the uranium, uh, the iridium mine, and I'll bring you back. Actually, on second thought, let's check out this cheap tree spreader. So we finally got this unlocked. Uh, let's see, where is it? There it is. 
I actually have enough to make this right now. That's a lot of biomass. Yeah, so I won't need the flowers then. Let's see, bioplastic nugget. I actually have a couple of those, I do believe. Uh, yes, let's actually do two of them. Okay, what else do I need? Uh, two super alloy, two bacteria sample. Uh, I had a bacteria sample, but that's just, what was it? Uh, algae and water? I think. Go over here, grab some water. I should still have some in the, the locker in here. Run over here, fast as we can. Okay, and there's that. And I need six algae. Run over here, let's actually see what's next. That's it. Alright, we're done. We beat the game. Uh, two bacteria sample. Like so. Uh, I do have, I think I have a mutagen somewhere if I need it for anything. I think I need it for the, the tree seeds. Yes, that's actually what I need to do. Uh, we gotta build tree seeds. Make tree seeds, too. I'm sorry, I'm tripping over my tongue today. Uh, okay, two bark. Uh, fertilizer was over here. Fertilizer and super alloy. Oh, hit the wrong button again. Okay, and then run over here. A nice big full locker of it, but I'll take it out of here because that's the overflow. So two of those, okay. So now I have everything. Might as well go ahead and make a tree seed, right? Let's see what we can make here. Obviously we want a high oxygen multiplier. Uh, a Rima plant. Okay, let's see if I can make two of these. So, I'm sure I have them. I'm actually kind of glad I started stockpiling these things. Nolna. Okay, I have one Arima. Let's actually organize it. See if I have another one in here. No. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's get a couple of different types of trees going just because. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can. Allegia. Serna. Hmm. Linifolia. Okay, well, let me get the mutagen together, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I've got everything. So let's go ahead and make our first trees, shall we? Let's see how we're doing with the insect process. Oh, look at that. We've got about a whole 0.07% since I started, started the episode. All right, so uh, the first one I want to do... I'm going to have to start keeping an eye out for these plants. I uh, need... Okay, so I believe I put them in here. One of those, one of those, and one of those. Ah, interesting. Oh, very interesting. Okay, well, in that case, uh, let's get some drills going. We got super alloy, got some osmium. Let's go ahead and make use of it. Uh, let's put the iridium away uh, somewhere. Uh, hmm. She use all the spare iron I have to make more chests, right? That'd be a smart thing to do. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, inventory. Let's get... Do six for now, because that's all the super alloy I can hold. Because my inventory is full. I'm pretty sure we're good on the power of the situation, so this should not be a problem. We'll get our, our spiders taking over the mountain here. And... Down here, and I think I need more resources to build another one. I'll run back over here. I have a feeling that sequence here is gonna take a little while. I don't think I have anything I can do to actually speed that up. It'd be nice to actually give you a, a little heads up 25%. Alright, well, it's not gonna be too long, so I'm gonna have to do a few things and I'll bring you back once done. Okay, I'm back, and we have our first tree seed. So we're going to take that out. And then I believe the only thing, th three things I need. So I'll go ahead and start researching this, and this is going to get us the Anifolia. Start sequencing. This one looks like a mic will be quicker. 
hard to say. Uh, what I have done is I have crafted all the uranium, well, not all the uranium, but crafted down into rods. So what I want to do is actually want to get some more heaters going because I deconstructed uh, a couple of those for the iridium so I could launch those two rockets to get more iridium so we can make two more heaters. Uh, okay, what, do I, what did I need for that? I have the explosive powder and super alloy. Explosive powder and super alloy. I actually have to make one more explosive powder to take care of that. Oh, I have more. Yes, I have more. Oh, I have loads. Okay, that's good. We'll have to launch more rockets anyways. I might need more iridium because I gotta start making that for more pulsar quartz to make uh, fusion reactors, yes. Took me a moment on that one. All right, let's run back to the bio lab here. I'll go and throw a couple of big more or a couple more big orange lights up on the roof. All right, uh, is that all I needed for it? Super alloy. I needed three more. And I got four more for the tree spreader, I do believe. One, two, three. All right, up to the roof. Uh, over here, hiding in the corner. Okay, so heaters. Hmm. Let's see if we can keep the the alternate red and green pattern here, or or orange and green. Oh, that's the wrong heater. So we'll place uh, place you there, and let's see. We'll put one. Oh, wrong button again. I want to make sure I don't fall off, cause. Uh, yeah, when you know, the gravity is really rough on this planet. I was gonna say in this game, but let's just say it's the planet itself I've walked off this ledge a couple of times and it's just like a sudden drop instant instantaneously you hit the ground All right, that should be helping with the heat significantly Oh wow, the heat's like 200,000 now I did build the right ones uh, okay, and uh, that's not what I want. 50% on that. Okay, uh, what else do I need? Let's see. Uh, well, I gotta get a few more things together, so I'll bring it back when I'm done. And we are done. So we have our first trees. Well, we don't have the trees yet, but we have to do have trees. Alright, now the question is where do I plant these things? Should we turn that into a jungle? A forest? Whatever these things are gonna end up being. I do not know. May as well, it's looking kinda. Cause I would like to see the base. I was actually thinking about putting them out there by the ship, sort of get like a jungly kinda wreckage going, but maybe here will be nice. I would like to see, actually see them from the base. See that base from space, pretty much. Okay, let's place our first. Wow, these tree spreaders are far. Okay, what's going on here? Does it actually have to be on air, on like wet ground for this to work? Or does it have to be near water? Oh, someone had mentioned they had to be on water. That's right. I know what I'm doing. Okay, let's uh, let's put one over here. I hear a storm coming. Okay, uh, let's put it right here. What kind of storm is it? It's like a mini rocket. Cool. All right, you will be. Oh, those ones look pretty. We'll put those ones in there. And do we see trees right away? Or is this gonna take like six years to grow? It's gonna take six years to grow. Alright, well in that case, um can we put one over there or over here? Gosh, we'll put one over here, see if we can get some green over in this direction. It's still kinda looking kinda dry over here. I think we will drop one right here. Okay, and you will get that seed. And then we'll go 
we'll check on the progress on this one. And then we'll go back to the base. And then we'll check on the biomass production and the oxygen and all that stuff. And then I'll bring you back when we have something. Another fall storm. Where are we at here? Seven percent. That's actually not too bad. Yeah. Got some grass growing. That's good. Oh, look at the little trees. The bonsai trees. Oh, we can actually watch them grow too. And they actually have a hitbox. That is cool. Oh, can I do this? Is it gonna work? I wanted to see if uh, if the tree if the tree was gonna grow with me on top and bring me up. Anyway, I'll be back. <sighs> so close, <laughs> yet so far. I didn't actually have anything on me, so I didn't care. All right, uh, yeah, we're back here. Yeah, I I almost made it. Let's actually see what we're doing on the map here. Wow, we're getting so green. No big trees yet, but we are we almost doubled on the biomass. That's actually not bad. Not that there's anything else we can unlock. We're just trucking along until we get the tier, sp the tier 2 tree spreader and then the tier 3 tree spreader. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of, I guess, resourcing, whatever, and I'll bring you back when we have some trees. Okay, so I decided to do a little bit of a look kind of around. I came back to this area here, and this is like totally different. Oh, I just drank some dirty water. Oh, I have an air, a water filter. I'm fine. Oh yeah, this uh, whole plate area was dry and dirt like that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we gotta check that out. We have a vine. I actually wonder if that's something. What is this? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, free stuff. I like that even better. Zeolite, eh. Could do without. Well, no, can't do without. Well, that's cool. I didn't actually expect that. I wonder if there's any more of those vines around. So I like about the jetpack, at least you can drop down like that. Another cave? What is that? Oh yeah, an underwater cave. I don't think I actually saw this before. I'll we'll find out in a second. No, I have not been here. Ooh, wow. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, uh, Dre came across this and his video too, and I didn't recall that, and there was another one he had found, uh, found too, that he had missed something in one of the big ships. Is that all this is? Really? Hmm. I guess so. What do we have up here? Where does this go? Interesting. Found a shortcut. Oh, I didn't find it. I just happened to find it for myself. This is such a weird structure. It's almost like it was these walls or something else. Not 100 percent sure, but I'm actually going to start to wonder now if there's something up top. Uh, anyway, uh, I shall bring you back. Okay, I am back. I also did a couple more things. I put a couple more heaters up on the, the roof there. See if we can warm this place up a little bit more. Uh, we do have a very long, very, very long way to get to that power cell to start unlocking these ships. But, uh, here's to see how the whole insect thing is going to work. Or is there actually going to be the actual like, bugs and stuff crawling around or what? But anyways, uh, here is the trees I have here. These are very, very interesting looking. 
I actually kind of like them. Uh, I think that's actually full growth on this. Let's see, yeah, that's a hundred percent. Okay, well, this is this tree here. Actually, kind of has like a sort of a savanna y kind of look, I guess. Let's go check on the other ones over here. And whatever I might do between now and the next episode is I might get a few more tree seeds ready and some supplies, and we'll start planting some more trees everywhere. Now, these are weird. This is. This is the kind of stuff that you find on planets in No Man's Sky. But we're on an alien planet, anyways. Who says this is Earth? But, anyways, and this one is. Doing good. It is doing a lot of oxygen, apparently. While I'm here, I have to have some water. And that is cool. Very cool. Now. I, I, I do believe that just like the grass and the other flowers that are showing up that eventually other trees will start showing up as well maybe uh, what I can do too since uh, I've got pretty much everything unlocked is maybe just for the sake of it I'm going to try to decode one more ch blueprint chip and see if anything shows up but I don't think it will be we can try not like it's gonna wipe the save game and that'll be it and give you game over and all the time and has been completely wasted. But that's not the case. Anyway. Nothing. Okay. I clicked a little too fast. Uh, but for the next update, we are set. But in the next update, we'll probably have to start over from scratch because updates usually mean that thing progress gets reset or something changes in the game that makes things different than what they were but there we are we are at point three percent of the way to the end insects so which means that I basically gotta dr jump uh, multiply everything like significantly uh, more than likely it's gonna be launching rockets I've thought about doing a biomass rocket and even an oxygen rocket too but we'll figure that out in the next episode because I gotta get supplies and uranium and or iridium and stuff like that speaking of uranium Still plenty of power. Those reactors are great. I love them. Uh, it's a shame I can't... Oh, I guess I could. I could actually get the uh, uranium back from the rods with the recycling machine. Oh, what kind of storm we got coming. Anything I need? What's on sale for today? I think it's going to be a false alarm. Why not in a second here? Definitely getting a lot greener out here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Spontaneous yawn. Yeah, I think this is just a, an ordinary storm. I wouldn't call this an ordinary storm, but on this planet, this is... It's a, it's a tame one. Oh, it looks like there's something on that thruster there. Maybe it's just light or something. But well, that is it. But with that, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.